All right, what's going on, y'all? So this is the very last boss in Bloodborne, the Moon Presence. Uh, you get this optional final boss by eating all three umbilical cords and answering the white, the right, uh, an answering Gurman, uh, the first hunter, the right way. I believe you have to refuse um, his uh, request. Uh, I don't believe if you um, accept his request you get to fight the optional boss. So you have to get eat all three umbilical cords and also refuse uh, Gearman. So the Moon Presence is not necessarily a hard uh, boss. I actually died less times to the Moon Presence um, than I did to Gearman. Um, the only thing about it, it, it just has like these really powerful, ridiculous attacks. It has one attack that apparently no matter where you are on the screen, and you're gonna see it, no matter where you are on the screen, it takes your health down to exactly just a slither. Literally to the point where you can barely even see your HP. It, and he doesn't have to be near you. It's just a complete area effect type of attack. As far as what I've noticed about it. And like I said, you're going to see. But it's not a hard boss. It takes damage pretty easily. right? It seems to have a very low defense. But to make up for that, it tries to kill you as fast as possible, and it's pretty relentless. So its attacks are, you know, high damaging, but its defense is pretty low. So, yeah, that attack right there, it seems to be... It doesn't seem to do an actual, um, like, static amount of damage, right? What it seems to do is, no matter where your health bar is, it seems to bring your health bar down to the last slither, pretty much. But... With this boss, all you gotta do is, you know, dodge these uh, frontal attacks for the most part. Try to get behind them, and uh, you know, land some, land some attacks at the side. Uh, eventually, you will get some, be able to get some free hits in. Uh, there, there it goes again. Health just went all the way down. I was nowhere near it. But what I noticed after it does that move, it has a lot of recovery time. It seems to be, uh, you know, in recovery from that move for like damn near looks like six seven seconds which is a long time um, but like I said the only thing you gotta do is dodge enough frontal attacks and attack it at, at attack the, um, the side of the of the boss and um, and you know they'll give you some op there it goes again they'll give you some opportunities uh, after you attack it enough that it'll, it'll become stunned and it's just easy sailing from there so nothing really complex about this final uh, optional boss Just get some good hits in and uh Oh, yeah time for the anticlimactic ending you want to know how a real gamer finishes off a final boss just like this Punk ass knives. Yep punk ass throwing knives. Yep. Just like that. I don't got to prove nothing to nobody All that matters is the win and I guess I'll let I'll let y'all watch the uh, ending, which most unless you beat the game and you know and have done the research and everything, you probably won't understand the ending anyway. But that's it, guys. I have officially beat Bloodborne. I will put up my review hopefully by tomorrow, depending on when I upload this video. But if not tomorrow, it'll be sometime in the week, and I'm talking right through the ending. But like I said, y'all really wouldn't, probably wouldn't understand it anyway, and. You know, y'all can read the subtitles. Whatever. I'm out of here. I beat Bloodborne. Peace. Oh, I will be playing New Game Plus, and apparently there are some, you know, like mini bosses or new added bosses when you go into New Game Plus and when you do the Chalice, chalice Dungeons and everything like that. So I'm still going to be playing this game and, you know, doing everything like that. All right? Peace.